Hello, my beautiful people. This is Sharon. Still trying to protect, protect, perfect my reverse dips. So I'm going to be working on that. I have a black background here that I just put down. I'm going to get rid of Z bubbles. Okay. Now, I want to do red. So I am going to put down, let me find my middle. So I'm really bad at, I'm looking at the camera, it's easier to, I gotta stand straight up. It's hard to find your middle from an angle. Okay. So I got my middle. All right, so I'm gonna do, try and make a really nice red flower. try and put these all in the right spot here. Now these are going to be a little bit closer. Let me think here for a second. That's tough work for me this early in the morning. Was difficult. <laughs> Kidding. My allergies are raring up this morning, so I'm gonna be drinking my vitamin water this morning as much as I can so I don't get my dry throat and start coughing and and whatnot. I'm sure that's kind of annoying for you to listen to. Okay, so we got some magenta. Oh, big bubble there. Die, bubble, die. Hard to see the magenta through the glare here. Can't tell how much I've got on there. Okay. And I don't have a lot of reds. Let me go with some maroon. dark contrast. Probably would have been better to do this on white, but that's all right. Looks brown on here. All right. And touch of this lilac. I don't want to go overboard on this like I usually do. So I'm gonna use some of this metallic magenta for the center here. I 
one sec though, let me check on something. Sorry, I had to write something down really quick. It just popped in my head, and if I don't write it down, <laughs> it'll be gone. Gone in seconds. Welcome to old age. All right, so kind of keeping it at a minimum here. see what happens when you kind of keep it at a minimum and not a whole lot of paint. Okay. Just a tad bit of green for some leaves. That's it, right there. All right, let me make some room here. I've got crap everywhere. I need to clean my room today. It is so out of control. You know what, let me put a little bit of gold in here. here in the corner so I have some room sorry about that it's just so much easier to leave it sitting here since I rearranged my place for taping I used to have all the paints whoops hello I used to have all the paints right in front of me over on the other side of my table but if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you will see that I had a lot of glare. And that drove me nuts. And I'm sure it drove other people nuts that were trying to watch the video. So I moved everything to the end of my table. I was sitting like over there and the lights right above and it was just havoc. So. I moved everything to the end, but all my paints are over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, my box is so big, it's it's like halfway off the table here. So I can have my gloves over here and a few other things. So yeah, not the best setup in the world, but I've got this huge box and I've got room for paints. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me bring you back. But I've got this box here. <laughs> it's just full of paint. And yeah, so kind of crazy. Okay, let's bring you back in. Okay, it's lovely. You know what? I think I want a little bit of white in there. I'm going to use the metallic white. I just like that a little bit of contrast, you know? Especially around the outside of the flowers. Just kind of do it on the big ones here. If it comes out right, it just shows a little bit of highlight at the end of the flower if, if it turns out the way I want it to. Okay, and then just a little bit of white around here. Okay, oops, big drip. Yeah, oh well. That's the way it goes. Sorry for the shaking, I just killed a cup of coffee. 
I don't usually do paintings this early in the morning. You get to see my morning shakes and not that I'm DTing or anything. It's just that I have coffee first thing in the morning and I don't necessarily eat anything right away. So I get the coffee buzz and then I've been hitting my inhaler too, which is got an albuterol in it and it causes you to shake anyway. So, but hey, it is what it is, right? Okay, let's get the plastic down. Hey, look at that. The plastic likes me today. It cooperated, everything cooperated. What's going on today? Okay, so I have a toilet paper roll and I put some tape around it. And I'm going to use a roller today. I learned this from the great and powerful Fiona, who, if you have not watched her do these types of paintings, you need to watch her. She's amazing. Tell her that I sent you. She's Fabulous. She's from Slovenia and she's got this amazing accent to go with where she lives and super sweet lady and you should watch her videos because she's really good at this. She, I remember watching her when she first started doing them and they turned out pretty but she has perfected it and her flowers turn out incredible so if you have a minute go to Fiona art F I no wait F I O N A Fiona art Fiona like as in Shrek's gal <laughs> the princess Fiona that's what I'm trying to say okay anyway here we go I don't know is Shrek based out of Slavonia I don't know so slowly just i mean very light touch light light touch from the middle out very light touch not even really putting any pressure on it just a very light touch very very light I, all i'm doing is moving the roller that's all i'm doing i'm not pressing on it just moving the roller All I'm doing, moving the roller, moving it, moving it. That's it. I'm not pressing down, okay? Do I have a plate? Of course I don't have a plate. Why would I be prepared? What a silly concept being prepared. Let me find one, hold on. Why would I want to be prepared? How silly is that? Okay, so let's peel this back. See the magic develop. I like the idea of the roller because it does it a lot more evenly. I just, I do this to get rid of the line. I don't like that line that comes up when you take it off. I could have 
then some more rolling in spots. Yep, I could have rolled it a little bit more. This top end right here, I really like that. But down here you can see where I could have rolled it a little bit more. So I'm going to um, add just a tiny bit more paint since I took some off. Found a spot here. And I'm going to have to do it here too. I don't remember what I what order I did all this in, but the magenta is really thick. I've discovered that it just doesn't really hurt to add paint and do it again. I've always kind of was under the impression that you had to just leave it after you do it and it's like, no, nope, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna add a little bit of this metallic purple here. bubble. All right, now let me add a little bit more yellow in here. bit more of this metallic white. Just a dab of green back in here. All right. Okay. I wonder if I should add some black on my edges would probably be a good idea just where I pulled it all off let me just get my edges here Let's try this one more time.
don't stick to my glove. Alright, so we're going to roll again. Maybe put a little bit more oomph into it. Since it didn't really do its job last time. really not pushing. I'm just kind of rolling it. But I do want those petals to spread out a little bit more like they did up here. Alright, let's see what we got. more what I was looking for. Well, that's a little bit more of what I was looking for, kind of a muted background of bright colors and then the yellow flower in the middle. Didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but pretty darn close. So it's kind of the way Fiona's turned out when I saw hers. Let me do something real quick here. I've got a little acetate here. Let me kind of spread that out a little bit. That's kind of funny. There we go. That's more of a wispy than pokey. Acetate paper. If you've never used acetate paper, it's fabulous for um, swipes. If you ever do swipes. Okay, well that's pretty decent. I'm gonna leave it as it is and let it morph like they do. And I just recently put up a video of some of my paintings that I've done <clears throat> that have dried and I've varnished some and I haven't varnished others but just thought I would let you know um, how they turned out and what they look like now um, there's there you go not bad I'm going to try the same thing on a white background and maybe use a few different colors and see how that turns out. But I just thought I'd give this a try. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, whichever you prefer to do. Um, share this video if you feel it's worth sharing and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.